Why now IPOing? We talk about stocks volatility, we talk about liquidity in the markets. Is now really the right time to be IPOing a uranium company? Good morning, thank you for having me here. We actually think this is a good time. Uh, uranium prices are up 50% since the lows of a year and a half ago. Uh, we're very confident in the long-term perspectives of the uranium um, based on strong demand and supply fundamentals. And this is a government decision coming from uh, 2014 strategy set by our president to follow OECD standards in every aspect of government activity, including its involvement in the economy. So government set out in 2015 a uh, privatization program. So we're following through the program and this is not about timing, although we do think this is a great time for investors. So when are you actually, I mean, do you expect the trend actually for uranium prices to, to remain up? Because they have been increasing in the last couple of months, yeah. but since Fukushima, they've kind of been going down and there seems to be an oversupply the most, uh, you know, for the most of the 2020s. Uh, yes. Yes. Um, According to UXC, 2018 actually, with the uh, significant production cuts by uh, primary producers, including ourselves, 2018 market is actually in balance. And we continue to believe in a strong fundamentals going forward, and we uh, expect the trend to continue uh, based on demand and supply. Uh, picture. Uh, Mr. Primatov, how worried are you that actually the Trump administration extends tariffs that so far have been on steel and aluminium to uranium and what impact would that have on, on a possible IPO and on the market overall? Um, you know, uh, we can't speculate on what Trump administration may or may not be doing, uh, but we have to tell, I can tell that uh, Kazakhstan is a strategic ally of U.S. Uh, uh, we have very strong non-proliferation credentials and uh, so far, our company, we, uh, only less than 10% of our production is sold to United States. So even if tariffs are coming, uh, we don't expect any significant effects to our company. Mm -hmm. uh, depending on what steps the government may take in the U.S., it obviously will affect the market, but it's hard to speculate right now. Um, can and should Gazatomprom have an OPEC-style arrangement with some other uranium producers? Has that been discussed? Would that be a good idea to, to keep an eye on supply? Uh, no, we, uh, we haven't been discussing that with other producers and we don't think, uh, you know, that's the way to go. Uh, you know, Kazakhstan, we produce 40% of world uranium primary production, so we're already a significant uh, part of the market. And, and our share at the Kazakhstan Prom is 20% of world primary production. Uh, we're not planning to have any of that kind of discussions. Uh, what, what kind of st stockpiles will you have for this year? And how, how much stockpiles are you expecting for next year? Oh, uh, our uh, strategy is to carry six months uh, inventory levels. And that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, mainly driving from, you know, time it takes to go through the whole process of delivering the product to our customers. So we're not planning to stockpile and that's the kind of a mistake in the market that we're building up a huge stockpile. No, that's not the case. That's interesting because the market does think you have, you're stockpiling and then at a certain price you start selling it off. Yes. Uh, look, we have a new strategy. Okay. And as part of our market-centric new strategy, beginning of 2017, we stopped uh, selling our product to traders. There was a time when we had a little bit of build up in inventory until we found uh, a place for that material, but that's not going to be the case. And look, you know, we are the uh, largest uranium producer in the world with 20% market share, with largest uranium reserves that can be mined using in situ recovery, which is different from uh, open pit or underground mining. And that gives a structural advantage in terms of unit cost and environmental impact. So largest uranium producer, largest reserve base, lowest unit cost, and lowest environmental impact. So with that, that we're pretty confident. You know, we have a unique case. This is very attractive opportunity for investors, and we're very confident in the long-term fundamentals of uranium. I mean, uh, Kazakhstan actually listed some other energy companies or re natural resources companies, and the share price haven't been doing so well. Is that why you think your company is different because of what you've just laid out there? Yes, uh, as they say, this is a different case. This is a government privatization. Again, we're uniquely placed 
in a very strong market. In a, in a, we have the largest producer, lowest unit cost, least environmental impact, and largest reserve base. So we are uniquely placed in a very strong fundamentals in the uranium.